Kyle. I'm Brandon. And we're back with Sermon on Bobcast announcements. I will start with the menu for the week. For today's lunch is a corn dog, baked beans, fruit and veggie bar. Tomorrow's breakfast is breakfast sandwich. And tomorrow's lunch is chili, carrot and cheese, fruit and veggie bar, and cinnamon roll. For Thursday's breakfast is French toast. Thursday's lunch is cheeseburger, French fries, fruit and veggie bar. Friday's breakfast is long yum. And Friday's lunch is meaty nachos, tater tots, and fruit and veggie bar. And for Monday, there is no school. If you or someone you know is struggling when crisis help is available, call or text 988 or chat the 988 lifeline to work to reach the 988 suicide crisis lifeline. No Bobcat Academy meetings or news. The teammates' annual soup supper will be Friday, January 13th for uh, Summerlin versus uh, Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family. Uh, basketball game at Summerlin is going to be a free will donation. Due to January being National Mentoring Month, uh, you can become a mentor at www.teammates.org. A friendly reminder for any after-school events, sporting events, concerts, etc. Please read through your Summerlin Bobcat Spectator responsibilities. Hey seniors, please email your uh, senior pictures to Miss Bunk. Thank you. Close-up final payments will be due January 10th. That's tomorrow. Dance Cats practice schedule is going to be January 11th. Let me One. guess. 7 a.m. 6.45? 6.45. Ah, of course. Of course, souls. <laughs> for our daily quote, <clears throat> do or do not, there is no try. Master Yoda. Uh, elementary students also follow your Summer and Bobcat spectator responsibilities. And for our first week of sports, um, today there is a, a JV wrestling at Wisner Pilger. Uh, there is also a basketball game tonight at Creighton. Uh, JV boys and varsity girls, it seems, are the only one that are playing. Um, there is a wrestling try on Thursday at Norfolk Catholic with junior high girls and boys basketball at EPPJ. And for Friday, January 13th, um, the... Uh, the basketball team is going to be here at home versus Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family with the J with the entire team playing full games. Uh, there's also a high school boys wrestling invite at West Holt with Saturday, January 14th, having speech at Wisner Pilger, and the high school boys will have wrestling at Battle Creek. For sports activities next week, Monday, January 16th, there's no school due to staff development. There is a girls, girls wrestling at Battle Creek and Summerland Junior High Boys Tournament. Tuesday, there's a junior high basketball at Sante, girls and boys. Wednesday, there's a school board meeting. Thursday, there's wrestling duels at Neely and junior high boys basketball at Summerland. Friday, January 20th, there's JV girls, JV boys. They're not playing. There's varsity girls and boys basketball at Osman. High school girls wrestling invite at Neely and Saturday, January 21st, there's speech at Summerlin Junior High Boys Basketball Tournament at West Holt, JV Girls and Boys Basketball Tournament at Neabrera, and High School Boys Wrestling at Neely. That's going to do it for the Summer of the Bobcast announcements. Up next is Levi and Trevor's Horse with Kelton and Christian, and after that we're going to have Owens News. Thank you for watching Summer of the Bobcast. Welcome back. Today we have Horse with the Brick, Kelton Brunt, and JJ Christian Banks. Play some call.
He's at, isn't he at H? Hey, Joe. H.O. Christian, you know you don't have to go to the same spot that Kelp Shakes does when he misses. Yeah, but we like these spots. Yeah, but I like that spot. H. <laughs> oh, H. H.
<laughs> He's going further. Tied up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Colin, you're not going to make it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yep, HRS, HRS. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Hey. Ah. Oh. Kelton wins. Goodbye. Hello, and thank you for tuning into the Summer Life Podcast. My name is Owen Jeffords, and today I'm just going to be doing, just going to talk about some of the news. Um, so, number one, the actor Jeremy uh, Renner posts a video update uh, that he's just recovering while in the ICU after a uh, snowmobile crash. He, the, he's just there. He's continuing to recover from two surgeries after being following being injured by a snowplow on New Year's Day near his Nevada home. The Marvel star was clearing snow from a private driveway to help family members leave the house after gathering for the holidays when the incident occurred. I uh, so. He was completely crushed by a snowcat vehicle long in but he's recovering apparently. Um, Young Thug faces eight out of the possible 65 charges in YSL Rico trial. Um, uh, Young Thug is facing eight charges in the sprawling Rico case against his Young Slime Life Collective. The charges against the Atlanta rapper uh, were confirmed in court documents on Wednesday. Uh, as day one of jury selection, the trial began in Fulton County, Georgia. Um, so there, out of this 65 counts, that were put against YSL, only eight are being used. The eight counts include conspiracy to violate the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, otherwise known as RICO. Uh, Act two, act and two counts of participation in criminal street gang activity, which were filled, filed when the rapper was originally indicted in May 2022. He also has been charged with the possession of drugs with intent to distribute um, and possession of a firearm and possession of a machine gun. Yeah, there's that. Um, the Buffalo Bills incident with Damar Hamlin. Um, after he suffered cardiac arrest on the field. And then when that game got postponed after such, uh, they canceled the game. Uh, he is apparently making remarkable improvement over the past 24 hours. As the team said, the team said in an update Thursday. Hamlin's medical team says he is on a ventilator, but he is able to write messages. Okay, so Ken Block, uh, the WRC, uh, which is just a rally car for the World Rally Championship, retires number 43. He is as a mark of respect following the death, the death of Ken Block. Um, yeah, he can be reported best result of seventh at Rally Mexico in 2013. He died the second of January uh, from being in a snowmobile incident. The American shocked the fame thanks to his YouTube. Uh, 
also is the member of Wakapedia in the U.S. Rally Championship, the Global Rally Cross Championship, and the FIA World Rally Cross, Rally Cross Championship. Last year, Block narrowly missed out on claiming a maiden U.S. National Rally Championship crown to Brandon Semenuk after claiming four event victories and 65 stage wins. WRC's decision to remove number 43 is the latest in a series of tributes to the 55-year-old that have poured in this week's in this week after news following his passing a snowmobile, snowmobile crash in Utah. So yeah, a lot of famous people get hurt. Uh, thank you all for listening and tune in next week for more Owens News segment.